This topic has been weighing on your boy the past day, man. I'm going to keep it real, man. I've been thinking about it, man. I went to bed thinking about it. Me, SK, and nephew, JJ, man, we did a live last night. We talked about it. I mean, this thing has just been going around. I've been seeing videos about it. I mean, it's been going crazy. You know what I mean? I got to talk about it, and I want y'all's help. Y'all got to help your boy R.A.P. today, man. You know, like, do we want a bridge or stop gap type quarterback? Is that what we are looking for if Kirk Cousins tends to not become a Viking next season? All right. Is that what we're looking for? Because to me, I think a bridge quarterback, a stopgap quarterback is irrelevant for the Minnesota Vikings. To, to be real, I think it's irrelevant for any damn team that has aspirations of winning a Super Bowl. I don't think they should ever be thinking about a bridge quarterback. Why do you want a bridge? No, you should be trying to get a superstar quarterback, a franchise guy. That's what you want. Because ask yourself this. There may be and there and there's probably evidence of guys that have came in i mean we've seen nick Foles done it right we've seen some guys do it you know there's probably a couple more on the list that you can come up with that maybe have taken their team to a super bowl but their team that they were on also was built a certain way i don't think the vikings are built quite there yet like even if we were to get a Jaden daniels a caleb williams whatever drake may whoever you like right if we were to get them on this team I'm still not as confident that we're going to the Super Bowl this upcoming season anyways, even though I'm going to be rooting for it. But the truth is, like those other guys, like the Nick Foles, when he was on the Eagles and did that, you can call him a bridge type guy that just happened to already be on the roster. He made it happen. Guess what happened when he went to another team like the Bears? Trash the next year. Or the, or the Jacksonville Jaguars. Trash. I'm saying trash. Stop it. All right. So what I mean by that is I don't want Gardner Minshew's. I don't want Baker Mayfield's because what is that going to get you? That's going to get you seven, six, five wins, right? Which is no different from if you were to go get a rookie, and let's just say he's not ready. Even a rookie that ain't ready with a, with a, with a roster that's built somewhat okay, still going to win five games, six games, seven games. Like, that's still possible. You know, this... If we get a rookie quarterback, we're only going to win one game. We're going to go one and one and 16. Like we need to stop thinking like that because I don't think that's reality. I just don't. Right. And you bring in a listen. Gardner Minshew wouldn't have seen a play on the field if Anthony Richardson didn't get hurt. Why? Because Anthony Richardson's already better coming into the NFL. He's better. Right. And I would feel the same way if we were to get a Baker Mayfield or a Gardner Minshew or a Ryan Tannehill, whoever you want to name that you believe as a stopgap bridge type quarterback, I would think Jaden Daniels would already be better as a rookie, you know, and why do we want a guy sitting behind one of them to develop for one year? And then what if a year goes by? Think about this. What if a year goes by, we put our guy in and he ain't ready, right? You wasted a year because he's not ready. So now we got another year. Now we're stuck. We got to wait until the following year. And it just turns into this long drawn out situation that I'm tired of dealing with, quite frankly, right? So I just want to know off the rip, like how the Texans did with CJ Stroud, put him right in. How the Panthers did with Bryce Young, put him right in. Bryce Young didn't look too ready, right? They got another year this year. They're going to try a couple more moves and then they'll really be able to tell. And then if not, they can move off. They already started the process. So it's okay. See, we keep dragging this can down the damn road. You know what I'm saying? With Kirk and all this down the third. And if you want to keep Kirk, that's cool. And for the ones who want to move off of him, that's cool too. But I'm going to tell you right now, Kirk ain't winning us a Super Bowl in my opinion. And a bridge quarterback, damn sure ain't winning us a Super Bowl. You feel me? So if it's not winning a Super Bowl, I don't want it. That, I think that's just how I think, man. And y'all can let me know, man. Let me know, am I wrong? Am I thinking too deep into this situation? Like, would you be okay bringing in a bridge quarterback? Like, is that the formula to win in the NFL today in 2024? Was it ever the formula in the NFL to bring in a guy to what? buy you some time like what are we buying here if we bring in a bridge quarterback like that's just my that's my thing man and you know i can be going off the rocker man you know what i'm saying sometimes i get on here and i be thinking about situations and i'm like man i gotta hit record and talk about this to my peoples because i need y'all to help me right because i stand on what i say and you know usually my takes man i, I i'm gonna stand on it right if i feel some way that's how i feel and it is what it is but i'm gonna tell you man like this situation right here maybe i'm tripping but right now until somebody persuades me and, and changes my mind i'm not with the bridge stop gap formula bro i just don't think it works it makes no sense like first of all you're going to lose draft position because if you bring in a guy like mayfield or, or garner you can you're possibly going to win like i said six seven eight games so you're going to be picking between 15 and 20 anyways right and you're not going to win a super bowl so you're really getting you sitting on both sides of the blade, bruh. There's just no, it's just like a lose-lose, man, in my opinion. To where if you get a Jaden Daniels, comes in, 
He can win you 10 games maybe, or you can maybe only win five, six games. It doesn't matter, but you have your quarterback. You saw what you have. You know you can build around him. You have a vision now. Now you have a vision where you can start building the pieces around him, all right? Because you're going to have tons of money to spend because you're not paying your quarterback all of the damn cap. Let me know how y'all feel, man. Drop it down in the comments, man. I need y'all help today, man. I'm going to tell you right now, man. I need y'all help, Purple Gang, man. Drop it in the comments. Do y'all want a bridge quarterback? I don't believe in the, in the stopgap formula, man. I don't. I think it's stupid. I, don't, I say don't do it. You either good or you're not. You either can take your team to the Super Bowl or you can't. I don't think the Vikings, besides the quarterback position, if you just drop a quarterback in there, I think there's other things that need to be fixed first anyways. So <laughs> it's irrelevant. Now, if we had a, a number one defense, number one offense, a top 10 offensive line, and you just drop a guy like Case Keenum in there, it, it worked a little bit, right? But we're not there right now, though. That's the reality. We're not there. Let me know how you feel. I'll let your boy. Yeah. Smooth summer. Who running? I hear them talking, but they ain't gonna do nothing. Celebration, I might have a toes with you. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. I'm touring. We ain't taking no losses. We winning. Undefeated. Check the percentage. 